We are Team X2.0, the team behind El Explorador, the most innovative tool for interventional procedural labs up to date. By conducting research and investigations and prototyping tirelessly, we created a solution that solves a real clinical need. Let's start by giving you a brief description of the setting for where our technology would be used. Within a hospital, there are several labs created to be used for procedures known as intravascular procedures, where physicians use catheters to move through blood vessels and treat various patient ailments. In many of these labs, physicians use devices known as fluoroscopes in order to capture two-dimensional x-ray video feeds of their patient's internal anatomy to help navigate their catheters. These fluoroscopes are the target of our innovation as they cannot currently display artery structures consistently without the use of large quantities of iodine contrast. This brings us to the clinical need that we're attempting to solve. Doctors need a dynamic roadmap program to retain the location of blood vessels relative to the internal movement of organs to improve utility of X-ray images without contrast. Succeeding in solving this need will improve the utility of fluoroscopes in intravascular procedures, thereby shortening procedure times and improving their safety. Now, we'll show you exactly how our software works. Imagine you are back in the lab and you are the physician. You inject the first dose of contrast and the lab technician sitting in the control room records the video using the start and stop capture buttons. The software then cuts the video into successive frames which you can navigate back and forth to select the best frame. You can also toggle the brightness and contrast of the chosen frame and then hit the select frame button. Our software then processes the frames and creates an arterial roadmap from it. Now. When performing the actual procedure, you start the live feed and in order to view the arteries, you just have to hit the overlay mask button and boom, you can now clearly visualize the arteries without any further injection of contrast. You can also customize the color of the mask for better visibility and finally project the feed onto the main screen in the lab. Hang on, how was our technology able to do that? We use a combination of thresholding techniques and tracking algorithms that map the arteries that can be seen with contrast and lock their position to an anatomical feature that can be seen without the use of contrast. In the case of a liver procedure, we will be using the border between the liver and the lung, which is clearly a defined feature under X-ray imaging. Once the map has been locked to the feature, the result is sent to mesh with the live feed coming from the fluoroscope to give a real-time representation of the arteries. From a technical standpoint, the current state of our solution works for liver tumor embolizations but is still in the prototyping phase. More fine tuning and testing need to be conducted with the software before it will be definitively able to consistently improve procedural processes. This is due to small irregularities in motion and image coloration values that need to be accounted for so that our software can output a cleaner, more accurate outline that will be intuitive to follow. From a qualitative standpoint, we evaluated the product based on the feedbacks from potential users who were doctors in interventional radiology and interventional cardiology labs. Throughout our design process, we have continued to be in contact with these doctors. Moreover, we have done over 150 hours of clinical observation and over 30 hours of interviews and surveys. Physicians in both the IR and IC departments have confirmed the possible utility of our program. Our next step is to carry out quantitative evaluations once the situation allows. Thank you for watching our video and we look forward to answering your questions.